Let's go ahead. You in DC, huh? Yes, sir. Got my got my senator's hat from back in the day. So nice. All right, I'm from <laughs> Richmond. You know. Oh, I'm right saying? on. Yeah, cool, man. Absolutely. Like BC and Sheriff crowd. Mike is from DC. You know. Is she? Yeah, it's Sheriff Mike, my character. On or Sheriff, Ma- Sheriff Mike, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I thought you said Sarah Mike, and I was like, Sarah Mike? Right on. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump right in. <laughs> so, you know, with, with, any, with any character, I feel like a voice is a big part of getting in that mindset. And both of your characters, Sheriff Mike, not Sarah Mike, but, but Sheriff Mike and, you know, certainly Harry, have very distinct voices. Like, do you, how did you kind of develop the voices for your characters for the series? And how is it building on that for season two? Uh, I, Harry's voice is, was based on basically uh, <laughs> acting school. You know, acting school where they, they teach you when you go to acting school, a lot of them they teach you, you don't know how to walk, talk, sit, stand, definitely don't know how to act, uh, but you learn how to do speech and voice and all of that stuff the correct way that they teach you how to speak correctly. So, and you, when you're there, you're thinking I sound like an alien or a robot. Uh, and so I just went with that. I just went with kind of the basic, what would be the best way to manipulate the, the mouth as a tool to make the sounds come out? You know, that, that, so that's how his, his voice just came from a mechanical sort of breakdown of how to make words for me i it, 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 to even go back to the like auditioning you know i remember sitting there in the room um in the casting office and you could kind of hear the other actors when they were reading and as i was listening to the other actors and thinking what i had intended to do with the character i was thinking to myself okay I'm either like really smart or I have completely misread this character because no one else was doing anything in the realm. And so I decided I was just going to stick with it. I saw him from the very first moment on the page as kind of this amalgam of like John Wayne and Richard Pryor and Bernie Mac and, you know, a little bit of all of this stuff. And, um, you know, it was one of those swing for the fence moments. It was either you were going to get it or you weren't going to get it. It was either going to be a cool choice or like, who the fuck is this guy called security type shit? You know what I mean? Um, and fortunately, uh, you know, Chris, uh, you know, he got the former instead of the, the latter. I also wanted to do something that was different than I had seen of black characters on television. I wanted to give him a twist and an edge that, um, uh, that, that scene that feels familiar yet unfamiliar at the same time. Uh, and I think as long as is the commitment is there on on the writer's behalf and my behalf to who he is, it it, it works, you know. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, also both of your characters are like vying for the approval um, in a way of of different people, and they both and they're both challenged by the women that they're friends with. In the case of the sheriff, it's it's Deputy Liv. In the case of you know Harry, it's it's always going to be Asta. Like he's how is it like with that said, how is it finding your, your chemistry with Elizabeth or Sarah and kind of like, and do you remember developing that chemistry, that on screen chemistry with both of them? I don't know. You know, he, you just kind of, you just kind of follow along in the script. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you play the, you play the scene the way it's written. And then I'm always surprised, you know, when it comes out, it always, you, you never know how it's going to look or how it's going to feel. Um, you know, I, I, we have a really good roadmap with our script as far as for Sarah and I, for our relationship as it grows. Yeah. And um, I, 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 just, I just look to Chris and I follow that. And then I'm, it hasn't let me down yet. It's been great. Sure. Yeah, I would, I, would, I would agree with that. I think also... Um, you know, we didn't we didn't meet in person until we got to, you know, Vancouver and get to get up there to shoot for the pilot. But but Chris did something really um, endearing and, 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 and created a bond with us very early on. As we got cast in the pilot, he added new people to an email thread that had been started where he introduced us to one another and allowed us to start developing a bond and a connection from afar. So when we got in person, 
um, you could say, yeah, it was just a matter of luck that that we found that Elizabeth and I found the chemistry that we have and that Alan and Sarah found their chemistry and everyone, quite frankly, on the show found their chemistry. But I, I think calling it a co coincidence kind of, or lucky kind of, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, doesn't give enough credit due to Chris and casting and people being able to pick up on people's vibe and energy and, and, and their ingredients. So you know what you're sprinkling into the pot to help season the dish. And so, you know, they were just, um, everyone involved in putting this together were, they all put on their chef's hat and found all the right ingredients.